All right, here we go. Test flight number one. Three, two, one. Yep, that's me and my cardboard son. Oh, and roommate hack up in the window, but just ignore hack for now. Anyway, you're probably wondering how we got here. If you are, you're in luck because over the course of the next 43 minutes, are you kidding me? Alrighty, if you're still watching, over the course of this stupidly long video, we'll be taking my son from flightless zero to airborne hero with just some packing tape, our imaginations, and the strongest material in the world, cardboard. Now, since life is all about the journey and not the destination, I've placed convenient chapter markers throughout this video to aid you in your journey toward getting to the good stuff. This is a 43 and a half minute video about making a cardboard airplane, after all. Among other things. Congratulations! You made it to the end of the intro to the intro. Now, let's rewind to the real intro so I can show you how I taught my cardboard son to fly. Hi there, I'm Allison, and this is my son, FedEx. Yes, I literally gave birth to him, try not to think about it too hard, it's not relevant to this video. He's wanted to fly ever since he was born. That's why my roommates and I used to toss him around. It's great exercise for shut-ins like us, and lots of fun for little Fetty. Er, it was, until he learned that there are people in this world who don't consider it to be real flight because he doesn't generate his own lift. Now, I don't really buy into this crap, but uh, ever since then, our usual game of catch just hasn't been the same for him. All he ever wanted from that point on was to watch YouTube. Let's fast forward a bit. Late last summer, Fetty and I, with the help of our YouTube livestream audience, came up with a little picture book script that I have been busy animating over the last few months. Now, Fetty hasn't really had anything to do, so he's been watching a lot of unsupervised YouTube, even more so than usual. And the other day, I was in the middle of animating when all of a sudden he started going off about helping him fly for open sauce. I asked him what it was, and he told me it was a little event happening in San Francisco this June, featuring all sorts of engineering-focused exhibits created by just, like, normal people, or normal YouTube people. So it was a no-brainer for me. I mean, easy content for YouTube and something to finally spark joy in my boy's life again? Of course, of course I'd do it. Now. I'm no engineer, which means I'm definitely no YouTube engineer. So I came up with a few guidelines in order for us to get the deed done by the exhibit application cutoff date. Number one, the device must be able to survive shipping in my luggage or survive being shipped through consumer shipping services. Two, must be completed and documented by the application cutoff date, April 15th. And three, the device must be made out of shipping materials. Why? Seems thematically appropriate, doesn't it? This should also help with number one. And two. This should also help with number one and two of my guys. So why am I dragging this out any further? Let's help my son learn how to fly. Oh. Hold on a sec. Um, oh. Okay. Um, let's put this on hold for a bit. I gotta go do a game jam. I forgot I signed up for a game jam with my roommate Marie. Please enjoy this montage where I make a browser game in two weeks. Or skip to the next chapter to get back to the hard engineering. As you can see, it's day four. Now I have a game designed. It only took four days. Now I have to do the rest of it. Here we go. I need a escape button. 
to eat, even game dad's gotta eat. And there's no better way to get a meal than at the grocery store. We're making goop, ladies and gentlemen. Any game programmer needs a healthy amount of veggie goop if they are going to uh, effectively program code. They need veggie goop and they need caffeine. And baby, I've had my fair share of caffeine today. So it's time for, for, for so veggie goop. If you do not intake enough fiber, your code will be will be stinky and sneaky. It will be stinky and stanky and unable to function if you don't have good fiber. You can't code if you're backed up, you know. If you're sitting there on the toilet, that's that's time wasted not coding. You could be coding. Stink, the stinker. What is that? Why are my shapes over here? What the hell? Why did my fences end up not arraying themselves? This should have been arrayed across this whole thing. It doesn't export modifiers from Blender. You have to apply the modifiers. <laughs> Why isn't it just work? Because they're two different programs. Look at this whole game. You can walk through the car. That's yeah. not a. It's f up! Huh. Why did I make it so big? Oh my god, you. Why did I make it so long? Christ! <laughs> I'm doing actual game design now. <laughs> oh, ah, second to last day. Made it. Last day! I have a list of things to do to make actual game. It's like five things. Oh god, and also all the sound effects and graphics. Uh, eight things. Eight, th eight gameplay things. <clears throat> and sound effects and graphics. It's gonna be a late night. <sighs> Hi. It's 11.40 p.m. And I think I'm done. Packing it in. Gonna see if it goes up onto the internet correctly. I have too many files, too many useless PNGs that I'm not using inside of my game, and it is preventing me from being able to play this on the browser. So, I am now going through the process of deleting all the frames that I'm not using. Oh boy, after all that deleting, 135 files. So close! I'm so close! And I have an hour and 11 minutes left. Moment of truth. Is it playable in browser? Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Too big. What am I gonna do? It's just, uh, it's fine. Nothing else to do. It's really nothing else to do. Well, there's no way I'm making it. There's no way. So it's just gonna be a uh, download game. I guess. Nothing to do. It's just 
really nothing to do. Nothing else to do. I spent like an hour doing this. I could have, I could have been sleeping for manual labor job. We have been graciously given another hour. So, made a splash screen and a title screen. Because this thing isn't getting small enough to go on the web. Finished my game in time. You can watch a playthrough up here. Or download and play it yourself at the link in the description. I put Marie's entry down there too if you want to check it out. After the jam, I watched Nope for the fourth time, then messed around with an unrelated project in Godot for the next four days. But before long, I felt the dread weight of obligations setting in again. Once again, it is post-project in the middle of a project, and I find myself not wanting to go back to the original project. But it must be done, so I will do it. I will do it. We're gonna do it, you. You and me. You and me. Both of us. You see us? Yeah. You and me. We're gonna get this. All this. It's going to be you. You'll be stronger, better, harder, faster, stronger, etc. Sorry, that was a little, a little hard. To prepare FedEx for air travel, I decided it would be best to reinforce him a little bit, since he's taken a bit of a beating over the years. The first step in this process was to clean the dust off so the tape sticks. This is the only time water will be useful to us in this video, so cherish this moment. This stuff was for looks. This stuff. This is gonna get us to where we need to be. It's not right, buddy. <laughs> Next, I put packing tape over his decorative sushi tape to keep it from popping up. Start on the bottom. Next, I put tape on his corners to make them a little sturdier. Reinforcement done, we came up with a diagram for the device. But I realized it might not be the best design we could come up with. So I finally closed Godot and opened Wikipedia to learn how best to arrange my son's new body. Doing this is going to be a bit harder than I thought it would be. Because there are a lot of ways to make a plane fly. First place we should start, making his nose a little more aerodynamic. Now, I don't know if you've noticed this about my son, but he is a bit blocky. Flat, flat face. That's gonna be no good. So, I'm gonna need to develop some sort of headgear. Actually, we're gonna need to develop some sort of headgear. Something that will make him a little more cone-shaped. I know. I'll make some sort of structure, right, for support. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Let's get start. Um, I'm gonna need a box, box cutter. We're just gonna eyeball it. We don't need to go super hard on this, do we? The idea here was to make struts and then tape over them with packing tape so Fetty can see where he's going, while still keeping all his important bits protected. Oh, thanks, buddy. Ideally, it would look something like the front of this thing. One more for stability. Structural stability. The supports were a little too thick, so I cut them into thinner strips. This process ended up taking a lot of the tape off, so I had to redo most of it. Oh, there it goes, finally. About dang time. Oh, there it goes, that one too. It's all falling over. Might as well just... Look how well lit this all is. I'll even stick a gel on one of my lights. Maybe a purple or a... A blue. Maybe some sort of pink. Hmm. Step one. It's done. Stop.
start of the start of the airplane. It is Tuesday, March 19th. <sighs> this stuff will come in handy in a little bit, but for now I need to try spinning it on my finger. At this point, I was starting to get lost, starting to doubt my engineering abilities. But Fetty had an idea. And he was totally right. It was time to start thinking. With circles. This would be amazing if this just fit. Just fit on the first try. Here I added that scotch tape from earlier to temporarily attach everything. Sizing looks good. So let's move on to the good stuff. Sorento looks like one of them saw, saw headsets, don't we? Well, don't worry about it. We're not gonna kill you elaborately. Not to death. So far, the setup was working exactly how we envisioned. Isn't that right past me? Yes, yes. This is perfect. We want to be able to see your beautiful face. And the clear tape will allow us to do that. My boy. My cardboard boy. It's a good thing you don't need to breathe because it would be very hard to breathe in there. It was at that moment that I decided I should probably get some more sleep before continuing the rest of the tape job. After a few days of sleeping, I came back to the project with renewed vigor and new ideas. I realized the nose cone needed more structure before adding more tape. Two more struts along the diagonals should do it. Just need the right piece of cardboard to start from. This too small. This one, perfect. Almost. Measure and mark. And cut. And cut. And cut. And pet. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing. I had many years of practice. Yeah, you like when I hang tape on you, don't you? Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> um. <clears throat> To be honest, I'm getting a little tired of this. I'm getting a little bored of doing this. I kinda wanna make video games. I, got, I, I should at least try though. I gotta at least try. For you. Let's make my son fly. Come on, there's not that much I need to do to you. Wings, make a tail, tail fin. Oh, make two wings. So two, two wings. Oh jeez. Yeah, well, it's not gonna get done if we don't do it. So here we. in half for now. See where that gets me. Looking pretty good so far, pre-recorded me. But there's probably some math you need to do to that wing. Turns out, there was indeed more math. So I plagiarized some diagrams and formulas from Wikipedia. Which I then promptly ignored. All right, I can't remember what I was doing at this point in the footage. Let's watch a little further and s All right, never mind. Let's fast forward a bit. 
Looks like I'm taping the wing together here. Wait, wait, wait hold on. I'm, maybe I said something important here. Common law marriage. Okay, let's skip ahead a little more. That looks like a wing, doesn't it? Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. I see you smiling in there. You know it does. This needs some work. I think. After a bit more tape, I decided to call it a day. Today, we're gonna find and mark the center point. This will be important when we tape him up later, but I'm gonna do it now because I remember to do it now. Oh, what's that, son? Like the smell of the marker? Here you go, buddy. Let's make a tailplane real quick. It's basically just a wing, but smaller. Definitely feels like it's adding some sort of lift. Needs that, uh... Whatchamacallit? Um... Uh... Oh, God. My nose is bleeding. Ugh. Just gotta tape all that stuff up, Allison. And that, I will do it another point. See, there's no rush. It's been raining for a few days. Okay, fine. Take a break. Whatever. I do want to get this done before it's sunny, though. you weren't watching, I made some lines on this. And, uh, now I'm gonna cut it out. I wonder if I'm gonna get tired of seeing the eye thing when I'm editing all this together. Oh, you'll never get tired of the walleye thing, Allison. We shall see. We shall see if you get tired of doing the thing you're doing at 5,000% speed. Aha! You can back talk me when I can't understand. That looks like an airplane almost. Oh, nice. Oh my God, the sun's coming out. Eh, close enough. Hmm, the form is good, but the length is a little long. I don't know about you, but I really, really like the green glow of this new lighting setup. Once I got into a rhythm of taping and cutting, the whole process became very meditative. Before long, the piece was done. Now he looks protected. Oh. And now, the process of taping everything together without sticking any tape to Fetty himself. The device was going to attach through sheer tension to the front sleeve and the rear stabilizer assembly. I made a diagram to help you understand it better. But since I gave up halfway through the drawing process, it looks like shit and doesn't really explain anything. So let's pretend I didn't. I decided the tailpiece was still a little too long and so needed a little more trimming. But as I was doing so, something unbelievable happened. Oh, that, that hurt? That, that hurt you? you? You're telling me you can feel that, buddy? I'm sorry, it's not gonna be very long. The new cardboard was bonding with Fetty's cardboard body. Ah. Oh, it'll be over soon, buddy. I had to act fast, since as far as I know, there's no anesthetic that works on cardboard. I know, I know. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry, bud. Oh, I made. Oh, I cut. Oh, sorry. I, I got. I got. I got to cut again. I got to cut again, buddy. Sorry. Oh, there we go. I know. I know it hurts. Oh, 
be over soon. Get your body. Well, it was tough, but he got through it. From that point on, it was just a matter of tape. Soon, he would be just like that guy from the cyberpunk anime. He can generate good directional grab fields. Magnetic forces, too. Oh, jeez. Okay, uh, maybe not like that exactly. <sighs> it's done. He is done. Not sure if he's flight worthy yet. But he's definitely ready to fly. But first, beauty shots, 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 shots. <laughs> time to fly. <laughs> well, almost time to fly. My blurry phone screen says it's going to rain. Despite being the strongest material known to humanity, cardboard does have one weakness, and that weakness is water. At least tomorrow should be dry enough for our little experiment. Yep, definitely water. In the meantime, we decided to do some mini test flights indoors to see how well Fetty's new body works. Well, I can't really tell if he got any lift, but at least he's pretty sturdy. Oops, uh, his nose cone came off a little bit. Let's just fit this thing back on here. Oh, losing my grip. Finally. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Beautiful day to fly. There's one thing I'm gonna do though. I'm gonna have to cut right along here, very precisely, in order to get this flap inside, out of here. That should allow this to bend a little bit more, this upper surface, provide more lift, get them off the ground. So, safety first, or third, <clears throat> whatever floats your boat, cut away from yourself. Don't worry, Fetty was asleep during this whole process, so he couldn't feel a thing. goes out and not down. Oh my god, nobody's here for a safety lesson, are they? Let's get back to the good stuff. Bit of weight now. This entire ordeal. A little more squishing to mold the wing into its final form, and D done. Wait. More squishing. Bit more wing shaped, and uh, and done. Wait. Little more squishing. Just a little more, and done. Wait, one more squish. Okay, now he's perfect. Let's do a little test. Definitely feels a good bit lighter. Let's see. He glided. Slightly. <coughs> I just noticed something. In this Wikipedia diagram, it says that relative wind must be going kind of above the trailing edge right now. It's kind of just going flat. I'm gonna raise this up a little bit to get a little more angle. 
We're gonna make a cardboard block to sit underneath the center section of my son's front wing. This should raise my son's angle of attack enough to provide some decent lift. We're gonna put it like right there. All right, I'm just gonna speed this last bit up. You've seen me fiddle with cardboard enough, right? I mean, we just passed the 30 minute mark in this video. Can you believe that? We've all been staring at cardboard for roughly 30 minutes. Maybe less if you skipped around. Actually, I've been here a lot longer. A lot, lot longer. The build footage alone was like 12 hours. And the editing, oh god. I've spent entirely too long staring at cardboard. Perfect. Let's get a little test. Oh, he was starting to tilt up there. I think it works. Just a little more tape and we'll be home free. I promise. This is the last of it. With that final bit of tape on, it was time to stage FedEx in the kitchen before his inaugural flight. What are Val's doing? Hmm. All right. <laughs> Where, why are you laughing? <laughs> it looks amazing. It does look amazing. Day off work, nice day off work. 104, Monday. It's time to fly. Oh, hi, Murray. Hi. Where'd you get that camera? I found it. Cool. Hi, son. Where'd you get this cool, uh, flight device? That's so. I did. I did. We did. That's right. That's right. Gotta get the experimentation crocs on. Filming that? I'm not filming. You should be filming the squishing. <laughs> While Fetty's one weakness wasn't falling out of the sky today, unfortunately, it was still covering the ground. Maybe, maybe we don't film right here. Film more squishing. Yes, yes. Squish. Okay, we're not gonna do this here. All right, we're gonna throw them out the window instead because um, it'll be drier. Now I don't have to go outside. Unless I want to pick them up, but. Let's have Marie do that. We're not gonna throw them out the window, are we? Yeah, we are. Uh, well, I am. I'll throw them out the window. Do I have to record this? Yes. Do I have to go outside and stand in the street with the thing of my roommate? Yeah. Will he even fit out the window? Anyway, so do that. It might be too long. You can sit out the window. It's too long for a window. Oh my god. This isn't working out how I hoped. Alright, we'll throw them off the uh, the front stoop. That's what we'll do. He's too big to fit in the not true. He's I need I need to throw him over my head. I need to like wind up. I feel him I feel him rising up already in the wind.
Okay, I'm recording. Alright, here, we, here go. we go. Test flight number one. Three, two, one. That was glorious. We appear to have some damage on the on the tail. With flight number one successful, Fetty was feeling confident. He wanted to fly again. I'll just try from down here. This might work better. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he flew. He actually flew. Okay, but this is not holding up. Just kidding, that is. <laughs> totally fine. Strongest material in the world. Cardboard. Stronger than uranium. I think that was a success. That was a success. He flew. One more? Just, for just, just for old time's sake. What'd you think? Uh, they were pretty impressive. I was impressed by the entire lack of uh, lift it got. Lack of lift? You got some good lift at one point? At the first throw was the best, but, and then the tape broke and uh, it started getting bad. It's not attached, the lift doesn't transfer. She's right. If he's not attached, the lift doesn't transfer. Oh. Did he survive though? Was it was it the safety equipment? Can you can you hold this for a sec? Are you okay, son? I, I gosh, I didn't even I didn't even check. I didn't even check if you were okay. Are you okay, son? Oh man, are you okay? Oh jeez. Are you okay? I gotta get this crap off of you. God. Oh god. <gasps> it's okay. He's okay. My, so glad you're okay. So after we finished filming, something weird started happening. It started getting darker outside, but it's not nighttime yet. What is going on out there? It's getting dark out here. It is. That's so weird. What is going on? The sun's going bye bye. Bye bye, sun. Bye bye. <gasps> Once I realized Heck was just messing with me, I decided to use science to help me understand what was happening. I realized that the sun was too bright to look at directly, so. Assembled this device to help us figure out what's going on with the sun. Is it going out? Can find out now. After realizing my invention was too weak to use with my own eyes, I tried it with my camera instead. It didn't really help. So I stomped dejectedly around the wet grass for a bit, and thought about my next move. This would have destroyed FedEx for sure. I was about to give up, then I found some polarized sheets left over from the last project my son and I put together. I stacked them in an alternating fashion horizontally, then gave them to my roommates so we could figure out what was happening. Poggers. While spreading misinformation as a bit is fun and cool, it seems irresponsible. We're here today to tell you that this... This is not a good idea. While light on the visible spectrum was being blocked, light on the UV spectrum was not. Doing what we're doing in the video Doing what it looks like we're doing in the video is a good way to permanently damage your eyes. If you want more information, see the video up in the corner where Marie's head is. It's up there. It's up there. Oh, it's so cool. Look, it's 
Chubby at Max went out. Now it's 207. I could I definitely kind of tell that something was up with the sun, but I needed a camera with a zoom function to be sure. gotta be a sign that this happened on the day that I just happened to choose to film. It's gotta be a sign, right? Well, what do you think it's a sign of? Let us know in the comments. And uh, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. That's what I'm supposed to say, right? With open sauce coming up this weekend, we're sure to get our invitation any day now. What are you talking about? It probably just got lost in the um, email. What do you mean you think our device isn't good enough to exhibit? Look, we're definitely gonna get in, okay? I promised Papa Willie himself that I'd buy one of his cool and fun cat patch jackets if he let us in. Of course that was the real him. He was right there on Facebook. Wait, what's that? You're happy we spent time together on a project even though that project probably isn't good enough for the exhibition that we made it for? Even though I'm probably gonna go back to ignoring you for months on end after this video's over? Aw, oh, me too, buddy. It was kind of a piece of crap, but it taught me a lot about flight mechanisms. How about you? You're right. It wasn't really that informative, was it? Whoa, 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 whoa. You want to make it up to the viewers by giving them your firstborn. Oh, you want us to give one away to anyone who gives us more than 20 American dollars on Patreon. You realize that's not giving something away, people have to give us a thing in order for them to get a thing that's not... No, you're right. I don't want to do some Bobby Fingers type shit. That requires going outside. And there's weirdos outside. Plus, I don't have the energy for that kind of stuff, dude. Do you realize how hard giving birth to you was? Wait a second. I just realized you can reproduce, you've already reproduced, and you want to give your newborn children away to strangers on the internet for money. That seems irresponsible. No, you're right. They're your children. You can do whatever you want with them. Alright, guess that's what we're doing.